Hey, my name is Janis Gertmanis and I am on active construction site of a biogas plant and I just wanted to show you how we build biogas plants from A to Z. So I am on the mid-construction site, but before anything happens on this land, we need to involve multiple companies. And the first companies who approach these places are civils companies who comes over here and make sure the land fits the project needs. After civil company comes back and says the land is perfect for this project, concrete floors are built. And the once the concrete floors are built, Next thing what comes in is these massive tanks. This tank particularly is just in half built. As you can see, there is a metal panels on it. They build these panels in the circle and fulfill in the middle with the concrete. When these beautiful tanks are built, this is how it looks like when the metal covers are off of the concrete tank. And now it's ready and finished. What concrete tanks need, and for the biological process specifically, there is an insulation required, so the temperature held in the tank. And for that we need, of course, other company, which is us, CCL, and we build these specific heating insulations around these tanks. We need to install these frames, which holds rock wall into the, into the place and then after to secure that rock wall in, in the place we need that beautiful finish onto the tank which is the green nice beautiful cladding. I am inside the biodigester and inside here is some of the most important components for biological process to work correctly and let me show you what they are. When you see that beautiful tank from outside, it's cladded and finished, we need to make sure we do something beautiful inside the tank. So for that reason, we step in and start to do our works. First things first, what we do is we install our beautiful laser cut bended pipe supports. The ones then are installed every meter 50, then the bended heating pipes comes in place. They are six meters usually in length. We put them on, onto the supports and we weld them all together. As you can see, they are all welded in the same place and every six meters we join them together by TIG welding, which our professionals are trained for in CCL. These systems are really important in these tanks because those are the only ones who make sure digestate is always heated for the perfect temperature to produce that biogas. Second really important thing in these tanks are mixers, which you can see right above me. As you can imagine, these tanks are massive and they are fulfilled with a lot of different materials. They could be farm waste, they could be food waste. It depends on the site. So for that reason, we need really heavy duty mixers, which last really long time because we don't want to change them every day or every month. We want them to be there and working forever. But as you can see, they require maintenance in some point. And at CCL, if you didn't know, we supply mixes like that and loads of other mixes for different various sites and we can maintain them for you. Just wanted to show you another type of mixer what we have in this tank. We've got two types of mixers in these tanks. This massive mixer here behind me is slowly turning all of that digester and sends around the tank. Small ones which you saw a second ago are chopping all the digestate and make sure we've got that consistent blending. Hey, you probably thought, hold on, when all this, these components is in place, how do you fill that tank? No problem, that's all already been installed. These connections there 
are specifically to pump in fresh digestates and there's multiple other connections in the tank which takes all digested out of the tank. We are outside right now of the tank. Nothing more is there for me to show you guys on this episode because as I already mentioned on the beginning of this video, we are still on the mid phases of construction. Loads of things are still need to be finished such as pipe work, technical building, feeding systems and loads of other components which gets this biogas plant finished. I hope you really enjoyed this video. This, is, this was episode number one. If you want to see episode two, make sure you follow our channel, like the video, and I can't wait to show you next steps. I see you on the episode two. Let me show you how we build biogas plant from A to Z. Firstly, we need to make sure that the land where we're gonna build the project is suitable. Once land is perfect, we lay these concrete floors and build bund walls. When concrete floors and the bund walls is finished, tanks are ready to be built. To build the tank, they use these metal templates, which they fill with the concrete. Once the concrete is settled, they remove these templates and this is the actual tank. The once metal templates are off the concrete, this is the actual tank, which you can see. This is the rock wall, which needs to be used as an insulation for the tank. And this is the beautiful green cladding. So once this tank is built, next thing what we need to do is make sure we got enough heating so we build these heating systems. When the heating systems is installed, next thing what we need to do is make sure we got enough mixing systems. We got this massive mixer there and the smaller mixers up right there. After all of those components which you just saw, the last thing what we do is install the roof on top of that tank and we fulfill that tank, we digest it, heat it up and start to produce biogas to be able to send it over to your home.